Uh, over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh! Woo! Amazing! Oh! Nice. Here it is. What? It's like, what was I doing? Gotta change my clothes? Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. <sighs> can I talk to Aunt May? What's she gonna say? Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Oh. How can you say that? Pete, glad to see you're okay. Yeah, get me too. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I know it's looking. Whoa, this is weird. Huh. Never seen that room before. I'm trying to I'm trying to get into it. Oh my god. Hmm. Needs this much power. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Uh. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Yep, well, let's go ahead and get everything first. Read. Dear May, very soon you'll hear Looks stories like about me. Oh. Also true. Lee really did care about May. So this right. means she's out of danger. Well, that's good. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Aunt May, are you up to this? Do you know what's going on? Inspect. Lee's journal. Take key. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Wilson Fizz has been arrested. Hmm. Should I turn back? Part he sounds lost. conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Huh. The dark side rises Lee in did him. did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Huh. 
Right? Who knew? What do I do now? Hmm? I'm trying to. Open. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Oh. Oh. I know what to do. That seems right. To make the yin yang. Yes. Easy enough. Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? Whoa, there's there's a subfloor. Well first let's look at this. He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? He pretended to be a demon. Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Huh. I do not know. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Don't express. Oh, took the folder. Creepy. Everything's negative. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. That was dark. But very true. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. That was it. Was that not it? Where's the other one? One, two, three. The police had found this. Or May. I don't want to think of what could have happened. Let's go. Down now, how do hmm. I get out of here? Got to the store. <sighs> Man, you could have easily used your spider powers. Hello, Peter. Huh, Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. The bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. 
Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! And the plot thickens. Three thousand, nice, sweet. Captain Watanabe, I finally got your evidence. Head to the feast center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker, and some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance, probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Hmm. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. <gasps> I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Pizza. I guess we got some time to kill. So... One of two... I finished everything here. Nine of nine, seven of seven, one of one, two of two, one of one, five of five. Besides the demon crimes. Four of five, thug crimes. Even thugs cry, but do the Lord care? No. Oh, damn it. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Huh. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by just for a minute. We're gonna be late for dinner with MJ. For Sorry. Demons are firing on TCP Bravo. Need backup. I'm not gonna read those. Hey Pete. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. What's up with those shadows? You guys see that? Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Huh. I'm usually web swinging. I'm trying to figure out. Oh. Right here. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. 
shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Spider-Man taking our water away. What the truck? Huh, even better than duct tape. Got it. Call me the amazing spider plumber. <laughs> oh. All fixed. Where is this one's issue? Just in time. Okay. Drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Oh. Ah. Garbage. Now I ask, how many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? <laughs> no, oh, no. I can't deny Harry's station stopped a public utility meltdown. I'm glad that Spider-Man could swim and not like die in the water, touching it. Mm. Let's just go ahead. Oh. Ooh. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do. On like my free time, well, I'm probably gonna do it in like one video. Is uh, doing all the research labs. Separate video, so. Oh, look at that dodge! Okay. I don't, I don't know why that happened. Friends, today we have a very special caller, breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were public in the bugle, you are always fair to me. Hmm. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now. What's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no, though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And hmm. let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law, just augmenting them. 
in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising hmm. me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it! Don't care! Wow. Pigeon target acquired. Crap! Don't fly away, please! Ah. Uh. It is my responsibility to catch that pigeon. I can't do that. Oh, man. So catching pigeons give me research tokens. Where the... Where are they? Oh, I see it. Goodbye. Oh my god. Oh. You're going down. Downtown. Woo -woo. Oh. No need to thank me, Sable dudes. Although it's kind of rude you didn't. Oh man. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the story. After a pigeon chase and a demon fight. Hey, hey yeah. Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Whew. Interesting. Let me... Oh, I can do it. Okay, good. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. <laughs> it's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Mm. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Looks very promising. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. God. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Huh. That's neat, seeing that there. <laughs> oh, I got a cough. Alright, let's go ahead. And see what this is. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Huh. You've been busy. Just getting started. Wow. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. 
Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. What? You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control. Ooh, that's why. Short. It is currently too strong of current. There. Easy fix. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. 
sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. And that's the beginning of Doctor Octopus. What's what? Oh, what is this? I wonder this? if I could 3D print a web shooter. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them, my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. None of the yellow guys. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. It's a freaking massive needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize hmm. their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Interesting. Oh, what? So these are little tests. Well, let me do two. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? No, what? That's not where I wanted to, to go. Bam! Beautiful. I'm not even going to try to... X-23? <sighs> Wolverine's daughter? Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Holy crap. <laughs> hmm. Damn. No. Which one do I use? I use this one here. Crap, no. This one here. And then this one. What? Oh my god. There. That sequence is done. I could start with this one. Actually, do this here and this one right here. Oh, what the? Who is trying to get onto my TV? Like, the hell? Oh my god. Throw us at me. No. There. And to maintain I'm not Oh, hydrogel IPN. Oh. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Oh, wouldn't it be? Hmm. Whew. What was Doc working on with this? Uh This one will go here, and this one will be over here. No, so this one will be this one. To, 
this one here and use this one here easy Conduct the polymer not sure Conductive. about long-term wear and tear though might delaminate easily bonus for full completion I'm gonna try this last one and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video I was testing the biocompatibility of graphene Oh, graphene is such an amazing material, if you don't know what graphene is. I say... Do some research on it. It can be the future. Let me close this one. Use this here. And this one over here. <laughs> Bam. Crap. Oh, I done messed up. Did I? Oh no, I didn't. Whew! That was good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, everyone. Great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure hmm. I'd use this as tissue interface. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video. Hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Don't forget to be awesome. Share the love. When we come back, um, we're going to go ahead and have those completed. Or as much as we can. The work has progressed at a remarkable hmm. pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable I'm really not feeling his face character. The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang. Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Oh. So, yes. I hope you guys are enjoying... Spider-Man, please leave a like, share, subscribe, have yourself a wonderful day, don't forget to be awesome, share the love, when we come back we'll go ahead and continue more with this story, so be safe out there, take care, and I'll see you next time, peace.